What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to Clown Vapes channel. How are you? Uh, it is 2019. How ridiculous is that? Uh, man, 2018 went by way too fast. It's been, uh, I don't know, I've said this a couple of times already, and I'll probably still like be in a bit of a shock over certain things, but it's been for the most part a roller coaster. It's, it's been a, it's been a year. Uh, and one of my segments will kind of show it for the most part. So, uh, speaking of which, all right, so what we got today is what I've been vaping, some vape news and advocacy stuff. We're going to do a uh, vape mail opening. I got all that stuff sitting right behind me right here. And then we're going to do a beer tasting. So, that's going to be our segments today and all that kind of thing. So, welcome to Clown Vapes. It's 2019. Oh, my God. Let's do this. What I've been vaping. All right, guys. So what I've been vaping uh, this week, I went squonk crazy. I don't know why I'm revisiting squonks and I just kind of feel like doing some squonking. So that's been the thing. Don't know why, but my eyebrows are bugging me. There you go. I don't have such an evil eyebrow. Evil eyebrow. The eyebrows are so evil. All right. So. Squonking, I've been doing that a lot lately. So let's just jump into this. Uh, first, we're gonna start off with the uh, S Rabbit Hadley setup right there. All of that, all of that right there. Oh, it's not focusing for some weird reason. Uh, and in that, I have Mystery Juice. I mixed this a while back. I know what it is, but I'm not exactly sure what the ratios are, and I wish I kind of would have written down the error I made because I am liking it. It's uh, It's been really flavorful, very tasty. It's actually one of the new flavors that I've been working on since, like, September? I don't even know anymore. I, I just remember talking about it a while back, and I'm not sure how long ago I started talking about it, and I was hoping to get it done by uh, October, and here we are in January. So it's just been a long journey for me on that one. And yeah, uh, I think I might be getting sick. I'm not sure. We'll see how this week progresses. But for now, I am stuffy. This whole back and forth with the hot and the cold weather that we've been having here in Texas has been ridiculous. All right. So, yeah. Oh, that's just some tastiness right there. Up next, we have the Pulse X. Pulse X. That kind of thing. I know it looks more like an 80 watt. And it's because I bought the different panels for it. Because I hated those weird red panels. They look like plastic. They look like crap. And just not my thing. Got the Pulse X RDA on top. And yeah. Just some random drip tip that I found. So. I don't know. This whole thing where it's not focusing is starting to bug me. Let me see if I can fix this. Hopefully, and it's freezing. Okay, it's just doing, being its its silly self. All right, so yeah, Pulse X. I got yeah, like I said, I like voltage mode. I don't know. You, yeah, there you go. Look, look, look at that, voltage mode. I have it in voltage mode, so it is one of those things. And in that, I have uh, what is this? Uh, Sweet Lemon Bar, legit hometown hero. Uh, I'm liking it. I will say, out of like a lemon kind of bakery not my favorite like not my like all day not like something that i'm gonna like run out and buy some more of i feel like marcellus does a better job the lemongrass from danish it does a better job I'm trying to think i don't know it's just like a weird it's it's good but it's like a weird like muted flavor it's uh it's it's different not in a bad way not in a good way it's just different so i'm it is what it is all right so really all day goodness right there though uh up next i have the shogun rda which i need to do my review on that here sometime soon on the franken skull and in that i got the last last bit of this bottle of cramblo that i mixed months ago i don't even know how old that is because i didn't put a date on it but it's been sitting around for a minute and yeah uh i don't know it's actually tasting really good in this setup uh 
Cranblow was like one of those recipes that when I first started doing it, it was it was perfect. I had it down. I enjoyed it. And then I don't know what happened, but because nothing really changed, but it just really something about it just kind of went downhill for me. So I ended up removing it from my lineup and, you know, like on the site and things like that. And I at some point do need to take some time and maybe rework the recipe and see if I need to just change something slightly and it makes it good again. But we'll see because creme bleu, what it's supposed to be, it's a cranberry, cranberry blood orange sugar cookie. And it's just it used to be good. And lately, like and this is actually tasting really good. And maybe it's because it's been steeping for months, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the setup I have it in, but I'm actually getting a better balance of all the flavors, the sweetness and all that kind of thing. So I have been enjoying that little bit that I have left because this bottle was like maybe up to here. You can even tell this is kind of like old labeling and all that. So you can tell how old it is. I don't know. All right. Next, we have the uh, recurve Entheon on top and that we have uh what is this one called again ripe kiwi dragonberry really really good juice right there i i am enjoying it i uh, like i said i my typical flavor palette is is uh bakeries and desserts and coffee and things like that so i uh, exploring more into like fruits and different types of things it's kind of become something for me like uh like like a mission, a journey, something I need to do. So, you know, that kind of thing. So cheers. Oh, I need to turn it on first. <laughs> I had it in my bag, so it was turned off. All right. And lastly, this was actually supposed to be part of this week's vape mail, but it showed up a little early and I just couldn't wait to open it and play with it and use it. But uh, this is the uh, Plug Squonk with the Citadel by Cyclone Mod. Cyclone? Yeah, Cyclone. And in that, I have uh, from the Gathering Vaping Lounge, Witch's Brew, Tempting Gretel, which that one, if you guys seriously hit up Mark Cloth, just go get yourself a Warlock's Hammer, get you some of this, get you some Naul, and you'll be set for a while. Seriously, you'll be a happy person. But uh, the Tempting Gretel is like Skittles. And like I said, exploring different flavors. This is like a candy. Candy is something I really don't go near at all. Like to me, that is very non-existent. So I don't really explore in the candies a whole lot. Uh, and I'm really liking it. Like that's one of those juices I've liked. I've kind of like, I'll vape it on and off just so I don't go through the bottle so fast. But I've been enjoying it in this. I've been tearing through it. So yeah. And I will say, uh, I am a huge, uh, pusher, I guess. I don't know. Like, I don't know what the appropriate word is. I want to say advocate, but I don't, I feel like that's inappropriate, but I don't know. You guys can correct me if you, if you could figure out what I'm trying to say here. But, uh, I always feel that little 22 millimeter atomizers, especially on like Meg squonks that take like an 18650, are like the perfect, like pairing. You know, like these, these style of atomizers are meant for these style of mods and, uh, with the whole single coil thing and, you know, talking to some of my fellow Omis in particular swaggins and like James that they actually, uh, they have tried out like the single coil bangers and all that kind of thing. Uh, I decided to put, uh, one of my regular fuse Claptons in here. It's a 0.3. And for it, just I, I'm one of those people of like more power, more heat. And just saying with a 0.3 in this guy, it is ripping and roaring. It's got that warmth I like. It's giving me the clouds I want. It's giving me every last bit of what I look for in a vape with tons of flavor. And just wow, I'm just shocked and amazed. Seriously, I really, I am so happy. I couldn't ask for anything more. So yeah, that 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 right there is a really good vape, and that was my ha uh, my uh that's what I've been vaping. So uh, let's move on to some news and advocacy, and 
let's go let's go talk about some some advocacy and what's been going on since i've been gone this last week all right so let's do it all right so news and advocacy uh as always try to follow any organization that you feel and like i know there's been some talks about the different organizations we have within vaping and who does what and where and da 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 but um with that being said like casa.org not blowing smoke uh i quit smoking by vaping.com these are uh, places you can go to to uh you know try to see what's going on within your neck of the woods or what have you uh there's also you know publications like for me vapenews.com has become like my my go-to uh there's a couple other sites that i can't remember off the top of my head right now but they tend to seem to run the same articles so it really doesn't make much of a difference but i mean like uh, angela garrity she uh she's her and nick have become really close friends of me and my wife and that kind of thing and she has gone full-time vape news which is amazing of her to do that for the community to like push and just i mean she tells us that she's like on it like you could probably like she's probably on it right now just doing stuff and trying to find every last article she can she's just constantly just working at it and you know like I said, you just got to find what works for you and also keep up with local news. I mean, you'd be amazed on how, how many times you see like something about vaping come up. I mean, I remember seeing a couple months ago, a local news publication, like, you know, a newspaper, physical newspaper. One of the cover stories was about vaping and teens and all that kind of thing, you know? So, you know, try to keep up with as much as you can. I know a lot of the times it can be a little bit overbearing or just too much or just too much to look up. But at least within your community, try to make sure that you know what's going on law wise because you don't know you're you're like town, like your little town. Yeah, like my voice just completely shaked right there. I really am not feeling well. Um your little town could just be trying to like pass like a like you know smoking in certain areas ban or a flavor ban you don't know you really don't know you'd be amazed on some of the things they try to pull i know around texas they've been trying to like raise the smoking age to 21 so and i just feel that like uh i understand what the point of raising the age is i really do but i still believe that dumb kids are going to do what dumb kids do that's just kind of one of those things of just thinking of the way i was as a teenager uh seeing my children grow up and seeing how they act and how they are and this and that i mean a couple weeks ago i forgot what we were listening to on like my uh you know my car stereo we were listening to music and something it said something and i thought it said fucking and i was like i looked at my wife and i said oh my god i thought this thing said fucking and then my daughter said oh i'm so sorry i didn't mean to do that and i was like i wasn't talking about you i was talking about the stereo and what was coming out of the speakers and she's like oh so that just lets me know that my 13 year old cusses when we're not around just saying i mean it's one of those things of don't kid yourself on what they do when you're not around uh we did things behind our parents backs our children will do things behind our backs and at minimum try to have an honest conversation with them about certain things you they do hit an age where you can start talking to them like adults you don't really fully have to treat them like adults but you can at least try to have an adult conversation about certain topics and it's one of those things that like you know so it's just one of those weird 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 things uh what's it called so that being said uh there has been this one news article that's been going or like a news video that's been going around about the uk stance on vaping and they do this whole demonstration where they have one jar full of uh well two jars full of cotton balls one they run a bunch of cigarettes through it the other one they run uh what's it called an e-cigarette through it i mean i don't it looked like it was just like a standard pen from like i don't even know when and they just run them completely like like if you've been doing it for a month 
and they run through a bunch of cigarettes on one, a bunch of vape pens on the other one. And when they, they're done on how much the equivalent of the average smoker and vapor would go through in a month with the cigarette one, it turns into this giant like brown blob. And I mean, these, these demonstrations have been done for years. This isn't the first time that this demonstration has been done. You could probably go on YouTube and find so many videos on this demonstration that this is like not even new to most people that like pay attention to this kind of thing constantly. And, uh, but like there is a uh, U.S. publication. I can't remember their name. I did save the link, but honestly, I feel like I don't want to draw more uh, traffic to their site. They basically do this weird flip floppy thing, at least from what I read, how I felt that they were like presenting it. They were like, yeah, it has these health benefits. But then we have the teen epidemic and it just kind of kept going back and forth like they couldn't make up the fucking mind about what was going on. And I feel that that is a piss poor presentation. It could have been done better. And just, uh, I don't know. It was just really, to me in the end, it was very cringy. Just thinking about it right now. It just makes me think it was very, very cringy and just not a good representation of what we want out there. All right. And, uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, let's see. Vaping wipes more than a hundred billion pounds in value from big tobacco this year. Angela Garrity vape news. She posted this yesterday, which yeah, well she posted this Sunday. The daily mail reports that vaping has wiped out more than 100 billion in value, uh, 100 billion pounds. You got to keep that in mind pounds, not dollars. Because pounds is uh their currency is a little bit stronger than ours. The value of the five largest tobacco companies has been declared been declining due to the rise of vaping, increased regulations, and increased regulations. British American tobacco has been the hardest hit of its stock market worth, losing about half of its value, with more than half of its sales coming from menthol cigarette sales. The FDA the FDA's November announcement of potential upcoming ban of menthol cigarettes would generate to a disastrous upcoming year for tobacco giant. Imperial brands saw a decline in value of around a quarter, while Altria and Philip Morris lost 30%. Japan tobacco is a fifth lower following shift in consumer taste, which saw a spike in vaping popularity. RBC analyst James Edward Jones told the Daily Telegraph the impact of FDA menthol cigarettes ban and margin erosion from the growth in the next in next uh, generation products is price in products is priced in although for those previously uber defensive and predictable stock the future is very opaque. Uh, yeah, and then like there's some links for the articles that like you know point you to where all this information comes from and all that kind of thing. Your citations. If you guys are in like college or taking classes or anything, I know. I mean, I was in school last year. Uh, citations very important. Remember, always give citations to where your information comes from. Otherwise is hui and fupla, and you need to proof where your stuff comes from. Just a helpful tip. All right, so just uh, tangent right there. Uh, see, this is like where if you want to know why your 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 government is saying no to vaping, why they want to get rid of it, why they come up with all these things on why they want to get rid of it, it's because money. Uh, you know, California, I've said it before, and I'll keep reminding people, a billion lives matters. You need to own it. You need to have that DVD. You need to have it on Amazon Prime. You need to watch it. And it'll open your eyes to know how all the legality behind tobacco works. It's ridiculous. It's insane. And it really turned into, hey, cigarettes are bad for you. You shouldn't do it. And you know what? Cigarette companies need to pay for it. And the cigarette companies were like, okay, we'll pay for it. We'll give you this much money. And they're like, okay, keep selling your fucking cigarettes. At no point did they start going in, you know, 
flavor ban like cigarette bans they didn't try getting rid of cigarettes in convenience stores and this and that no they just took the money ran with it and then continue charging more taxes for it and that's where a lot of the revenue comes from that's all like california they are like picking at straws at this point trying to like find money to you know make up their tax revenue because they are flopping left and right and just the state has been a in a bad place when it comes to like their finances for a very long time i am originally a californian and i i seriously like i remember when the governor came along it was because gray davis everybody thought he was doing a piss poor job at his job and he was a bad governor and it just kind of all went to, to hell right there you know Feel like i need some more to do while i'm talking so you know like i said a lot of things play into a lot of things it's really weird it's insane and that's what i'm saying keep up with your local news keep up with local anything you got going on and all that kind of jazz and it will really give you a more uh in-depth sense of what's going on around you uh i know that came i think it came out like two weeks ago i want to say three weeks ago but uh Grim Green's 510 report, he went into like this whole, I'll actually post the link down below to his video, but uh, he went into this whole explanation on how the finances with tobacco and local government and all that kind of play into it. So, all righty, so uh, let's move on. Uh, with all that being said, I'm going to move into some bait mail. We're going to open some fun stuff. I am so excited. I know what's in these packages, but I want to share with you guys. So let's move on to some vape. All right, guys. So uh, vape mail. I know I don't do this that very often because I don't really get packages enough to like warrant a vape mail section. I get like things here and there and da 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 da. So, you know, we're going to do some stuff. There is one uber special package which is this one right here we're gonna leave this one for last just because uh i'm want to enjoy this on camera with you guys and you'll see why you will see why i am so excited all right so we're gonna start with this guy this is uh from wizard labs some uh flavorings and stuff I really don't buy from them anymore because I found Nicotine River and I kind of like their uh, their style a little bit more. But this particular flavor, I needed it and I wanted it and they were the only place that I can get it in. Like, uh, I probably could have gotten some from Real Flavors and I still... I had made a mix with their... This is the biggest downside also to, like, Nicotine River is this crap right here. They go bananas with with the with the damn packing peanuts. I hate that. I really do. But yeah, oh wow. Yeah, it's this this is a particular flavor that I, I was needing for a particular recipe and something I am going to work for on a very uh dope friend of mine. Dude did me a solid and I'm gonna do him a solid. And he will know what I mean by that. If he watches this video, he will know when he gets it. All right, up next, this package involves this package. So I'm excited it showed up because if not, I really didn't want to play improviser. I could have had something for it, but, you know. And this is from uh, a little company. If you guys uh, do some shopping with this guy, seriously show him some love and support because... It's just one dude running the whole thing by himself, at least as far as I know. And this is a 18650 battery store. Oh, cool. He sent them in the pack, in the things. Dude, that's dope. All right. So, yeah. Ooh. 20Ss. If you guys can take a wild guess on what is in this package. I know I'm going to keep teasing it until I get there. And a certain person is going to hate me because of it. I hope she doesn't. All right, so yeah, 20S batteries. Just awesomeness right there. Really good batteries for mechanicals and such things. Uh, I'm still, I still believe in the VTC5As, but I, the 20S is personally, I, they out, 
they outperform them. Come on. All right, this one is it just says warehouse CA, and I think I know what this is, but I gotta I gotta go through it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it is. It is what I thought it is. This is a uh, the Citadel cap. I want. I really that stainless steel. Like it. I'm not a really big fan of vaping on stainless steel, and I was recommended by a buddy of mine that I should try the black cap and see how I feel about it. So we got the black cap. Because there was an Ultim, but I'm just not a fan of Ultim. Not my thing. Ultim, me and Ultim, I just don't like it. I barely use it. I have it on this thing right here. And even then, I don't, I don't really care for it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. See, that looks so much better. The same airflow. It's just uh it's just black. I do like that. But the this this cap does get a little bit hot, especially if you're chain vaping, and I am a chain vapor. I don't really uh I'm not the kind of person that just slows down because I need to. I go full bore. Alright, and this let me see what's this. This is open. That has been open. Okay, so hopefully this one, I know what these are. It's from a good friend, Mr. Michael of Vape Mats. I got I got more Omi's maps mats made out. So if you guys are in some weird packaging material, but sure. That's the thing. If you guys are wanting an Omi's vape mat. I will suggest go to uh, clownvapes.com. Oh my God, look at that. And get you one of these guys. Ooh, there it is. You can get yourself a vaping with the Omi's vape mat, which uh, I like mine. I know the rest of the people that bought from the first uh, printing of them were uh, highly, highly satisfied. It's especially a certain Mr. Vaping Miner. But I did get uh, some more extra vape mats made for me and a very good friend of mine, Mr. Frank Wolf of uh, Wolf Bite Podcast. I know I am part of the Wolf Bite Podcast, but he is Wolf Bite Podcast. If it weren't for him, wanting to do this uh we wouldn't exist he it originally was just going to be a project where he worked on it by himself he had guests and that's kind of how it was going to work and he brought me on for like i think episode two or three it was uh, i know he had jared the vaping goat for the first episode and that kind of thing so he brought me on and he enjoyed our like chemistry our dynamic that he was like hey would you mind doing this with me every week and i was like no i uh i just we just gotta figure out our recording schedule so that's how that's how we ended up doing the Wolf by Podcast and now a radio show on uh, VapeRadio.com or Vape Radio if you guys have the app on Android. So yeah, but check it out. That right there has been like uh, kind of like our logo and all that kind of thing and. It's subtle as all hell, but it came out perfect. I am loving this thing. Seriously, this is awesome. I don't even have space for it, but yeah, I'm gonna I don't know where I'm gonna put it. But this is so cool. It came out just awesome. Very, very happy. Alright, so now we're moving on to the uh the teaser here. That I have been like just teasing and teasing and teasing and then you know. Annoying everybody with what's in the box. Alrighty, so let's get this guy open. Alright, first of all, you'll know what it is when you see this part. Let's see if it'll focus. But if you know that symbol, even in its blurry state, There you go. Yeah, you know what that is. 
you follow me on Instagram, if you follow Michelle on Instagram, you know what this is. First off, I'm going to show some extra goodies that she threw in there for me because Michelle's awesome like that. And I probably will clean out something to try it out, but she sent me some Psycho Criller from uh, Deep Cuts, which I'm excited. I've been wanting to try uh, Vinyl and Vapors Juice forever now. And, uh, you know, Eric's a nice dude. He's a really cool dude. Uh, I don't really talk to him a whole lot, but he's still a really, really awesome, cool dude. Then uh, this is uh, Michelle Lynn's Dull Dime Clove, which it's her signature juice. If you ever watch her on any live streams or if you watch her on anything she does. Yeah, she uh, she she loves that clove. And she loves on that clove. It's one of our favorite juices. Oh my god. I am so happy. I am a happy little fella. I don't even know where to put my dull dime sticker. I want to put it on my laptop, but I'm not even sure. She packages this up really well. Alright guys, so here it is. I'm, I'm going to open it up real quick just to remember what number I am. There it goes. This is uh, M Michelle Lynn's Dull Dime number 40. Right there. And just look at all that. That is just amazing. That, this is so so cool and I am so honored to have this in my possession this will be one of my most favorite pieces and I just don't even know like words cannot really describe how I am feeling right now I have like a weird sense of overwhelmed I'm not gonna lie I, I this is beautiful and uh, thank you Michelle seriously you are an amazing person and You've done so much for us. And I mean, the suicide prevention thing was uh, that was a very beautiful thing that us as vapors did and came together for. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, number 40. Dull dime. That is just beautiful. I words cannot even describe it. Uh, I'm going to put some batteries in it. I have an atomizer already picked out. And I think the drip tip I have picked out for the atomizer is an off color so i do have a different one so i'm gonna set this guy up and uh i'll be right back and we will vape on it we will do the uh virgin vape um dull dime number 40. all right so i have my batteries in here i have uh the uh hopefully you guys can recognize this atomizer that is the twisted messes yeah the original Twisted Messes. I'm going to have to move this cap around. I feel like that's inappropriate that way. There you go. That that that, that makes me comfortable. All right. So let's drip on this guy. And hopefully these batteries are at least charged enough for me to take at least one hit. So we're going to try out that Psycho Curler. Because I am excited about this juice. I've been wanting to try it for a while. I know the Swaggins loves the, uh, the Dragon. Dragonberry or whatever that one is called. So I... Uh, and I've heard really, really good stuff about this juice. So let's give this a try and a shot. Shots fired. Speaking of which, let's see. We have the vapors. Oh, and that does smell good. Oh, my God. Jesus. It smells like diabetes. All right. All right, here goes. At least for me, for me, this is the virgin, the virgin hit. Dude, that is, that is insane. I have a .09 in here because I know what I did. I put this together earlier. I just rebuilt this atomizer and I was like, we're putting a good build in this because we're going to rock it. So it's like a .09.1 within that range and yeah oh my god oh my god 
Uh, there's a term I like to use whenever uh, I'm eating and I ate really well and I'm a happy person. And my wife knows this term, so she if she watches this, she'll laugh. But uh, fat boy's happy. I I am a happy happy person right now. This is uh again this this is a huge honor. Thank you so much, and I just I can't say enough. Uh, I'm really liking this. Oh man, that is just that is awesome. That is just awesome. All right, so yeah, that is my uh, number forty, Dull Dime, and uh, my buddy, my fellow Omi. Mr. Poon Sauce McNasty. He uh he got his in today too. He already posted on Instagram. So I mean I record on Mondays, you guys know that. So yeah, you guys know that uh he got his in today. This is mine. I will be posting this on Instagram today. And yeah, I it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And I am not the kind of person that uh receives gifts very well. I don't receive them very lightly at any level or any extent. So I am very, very appreciative about this. And I'm very, very happy to have this in this will, as uh, Mr. Just Right says, this will go with me to my grave. And yeah, uh, again, amazing people you meet in vaping, amazing community we have. If you find the right people and, Within the stew crew, as I said, like on when we did the live wolf bite show over the weekend, uh, stew crew has been the most amazing, best thing that's ever happened to me in my life, other than meeting my wife. Because I gotta disclose that part meeting my wife, number one, stew crew, number two, and you know, other family events, they kind of fall within a different category. Just putting that out there. Um, so yeah, this this is amazing. I I will probably be vaping on this the rest of the day. So yeah, all right. So that was a uh, vape mail, and there was one more package I'm waiting on, and I was hoping it'd be here by now, and I could only share so much of that package, but still, you know, it is what it is. FedEx just didn't show up on time today. Usually they're here like around like ten in the morning. They come by quick and early, so. It's in, I don't know what their holdup is today. So yeah, it, it is what it is. All right. So we're going to move on to our final segment. We're going to do some beer. We're going to drink some beer, try it out. This one, uh, it's, it's something I've never had before. So hopefully you guys can enjoy this journey with me. All right. So let's go over to some beer. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. Uh, I wasted plenty of time on that. Uh, all right, guys. So here we are. Here is the beer segment. Uh, today we have Half Life, brewed brewed by Manhattan Project Beer Co. from Dallas. Which all of that name just makes no sense to me. They're called Manhattan. Yeah, it's the Manhattan Project. Like, if you know your history, you know what the Manhattan Project was. If you don't. I, I will not let you know. I will not say it. I will not tell you because I feel you need to do some history research and learn something. And it's amazing what you can learn. History to me is one of my favorite things. And learning is something that I feel that as humans, we need, we never need to stop. Uh, even if we're too old and the whole old dogs can't learn new tricks, that is bullshit. And we can always learn something in our lives. There is always room to grow. There's always room to learn. Sorry about the lecture, but I just kind of one of those weird things. All right. So this is Half-Life. Uh, it is a hazy IPA, which I'm really trying to explore IPAs. I was actually telling my wife this uh, yesterday. I'm really trying to get into IPAs. I just, for the most part, there are some fruit IPAs I like, but for the most part, I just feel like the hoppiness just gets to me and it's just... There are some beers out there that are just so hate, like I hoppy that they just are skunky. And it's not like saying that they've gone bad because I know that's what skunky means. But that's kind of in the way it goes. If you guys have ever actually held like a jar of hops and smelled it, that's what 
all IPAs taste like to me for the most part. I have had a sour. That was actually a, a, an experience. I, I need to explore some more sours. Uh, but yeah, I'm not even going to go into that talk of what beers I've had. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Uh, some uh, explanation. Ooh, okay. I might like this. Uh, let's see. Half-Life. Always a crowd favorite. It's complex enough. For the most experienced craft beer drinker, but balanced enough to convert anyone that doesn't typically enjoy IPAs. The citrus and stone fruit char- characteristics with the delicious aroma will keep you coming back for more. So what I'm thinking is I for sure need some fruit vapes. So we're going to see if this thing is charged. All right. So we got not all ready. That one. That one's become my IPA standby. Now, Ool is my standby. We're going to do Ripe. And we're going to do mostly because I just want to vape this at the moment. This guy. And in here I have the uh, Fountain in my Goon 25, Lyra, Lyra, whatever combo. And I think, uh, oh, that's, no, that, not that one. This one. And uh, I'm I got that Coil Turd. With my Warlock's Hammer, Titanium Goon. Yeah, we're, we're, we got four good setups. We're going to rock it through this. I don't know why I just did that in that way. Normally, I just start grabbing at things after I open the beer. But let's do this. At least I have like a set plan this time. Normally, I just start grabbing at things and I vape them in front of you people. Yeah, you people. That sounded terrible. I meant you guys. All right, let's do the pour. That is a heady beer. Look at that. In this glass, that looks beautiful, by the way. And yeah. Dropping things. Uh, yeah, look at that. That is uh, very, very uh, hazy. I cannot see through the glass. Looks very effervescent. Yeah, that that is that is something right there. That looks beautiful. Like I almost want to just take a minute and take a picture of it. You know what? I fucking will. I'll be right back. All right. So, uh. All right, so I took my stupid picture. So let's move on to uh, to uh, let's let's do the nose or the aroma or whatever you want to call it. There's that citrus. It's uh, it reminds me of like a very light orange. It's supposed to. I think it's supposed to be lime. At least there's like a a picture of a lime in the back. Yeah, it says lemon on the back, but it reminds me more of a like a really uh. Like okay, it sounds weird, but like if you've ever gotten an orange that isn't really quite there yet. But you just bite into it and you uh bite into it and you're like, it tastes like an orange, but it really kind of is missing something. It's missing a little something, something. That's kind of what the, the aroma on this is. It's hard to do this when your nose is stuffy. Just like, you know, uh, I like I said, I think I'm getting sick and I've been really stuffy all day. Uh, you got some hoppiness, a little bit of like. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what that other smell is. I don't know. I just can't figure out the rest of the smells. Uh, we'll see. The taste is going to be interesting since like my nose is all stepped up. That also means my taste is going to be a little bit off. And, well, let's give this a try and see how we feel about it. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Not bad. I mean, it, it's an IPA, but it's not like a overly hoppy IPA. Uh, I do have like a scale to a point. I don't remember the, the low end of things because I've had some beers where they claim to be IPAs. But I mean, for the most part, they should be an American lager. Uh, that's just the, how it felt. Uh, so with that being said, then we have uh, I've tried 120 minutes. Uh, what is that shit called? 120 minute uh dog fish head 
uh, IPA and that no that one is just a definite no if you like it more for you bro I just personally cannot do it I cannot bear to do that so you know it, it is what it is all right let's uh let's try some beer pairings here we're gonna leave not wool for last because I know that one's just gonna work off the bat that that is just dead set on and I know it all right we're gonna go with the uh ripe kiwi dragonberry by ripe the ripe collection and we'll see how that goes okay that's interesting and oh okay that that was actually that was interesting okay like it brought out the hoppiness a little bit more in the beer and brought out the hoppiness it gave it a little bit more uh punch if that has anything to say and then like it it had this like very uh the the citrus flavor in it was elongated it kind of came it came like way after which is kind of cool it made it linger a lot more in the mouth like the yeah it makes it linger a little bit more so it just kind of stays so mouth feels kind of it's it's a it's an interesting thing all right so that that was that that's pretty good uh so i will say uh half life with some ripe pretty good let's move on to the next one uh this one is uh the fountain blast or the fountain blast off and the goon we'll give this one a try see that one it muted everything completely it just pummeled the hell out of the whole flavor it has like a lingering uh hop taste and that's about it yeah, that that was actually a really bad one it didn't make it taste disgusting but it did mute a lot of the like the essential flavors that you're wanting out of the beer itself all righty so next we're gonna go with the uh cold turd a liquid for vaping peach lemon uh the peach tea lemonade which this i i seriously have been sparingly vaping this just because it's almost out and uh, at the moment i'm trying to actually go through all the e-liquids i have so i probably won't be able to vape that for a while for a while because my vape drawer over here is full and i really got to get back into making diy videos which i really miss doing them i really do i know i kind of jokingly say i need to do it but i do miss doing it it's more uh those take a lot more time to make than the uh than the review videos so i just gotta work on my timing and all that kind of thing but yeah let's i'm just kind of tangenting at this point i that's i'm the king of tangents my wife calls me captain tangent and i am great at it and surprisingly enough she's gotten really good at it herself but that aside let's uh let's move on here it goes there you go see that actually just brought it out brought all the flavors and the aromas and everything that you're expecting out of the beer give it a really really good uh the citrus is more there the hop kind of bounces out a lot more and it just tastes it all around great just the whole pairing is good happy camper all right so this one i know this is gonna be a knockout and if it's not i'm gonna be sorely disappointed because so far when it comes to IPAs, especially like the the more balanced IPAs and uh, Hefeweizens, Naul, you just got to get you some of this if you're wanting to do a good vape pairing. Oh, just amazing. All right, let's do this. Wrong way. I almost did it the wrong way. I needed a burp halfway through that drink but yeah uh that one actually uh drew out the hoppiness a little bit more but the citrus just kind of mm, you remember how i was saying that it has like that uh muted like citrus flavor it just brought out that mm, 
I feel like I'm being thesis at this point. <clears throat> I'm not going to copy the dude. That's just weird. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it, that's, it just brought out the citrus a lot more and it's a lot more pleasant. It brought out the hoppiness more. It's not like the uh, peach tea lemonade that balanced it out a bit more. But this just gave a punch behind the entire profile of the uh, beer itself. So, yeah, that was a very interesting one. I enjoyed that. Uh, so if you guys want to pick yourself up a can, uh, it is Half-Life Manhattan Project IPA, Hazy IPA, brewed in Dallas, which is like 40 minutes or so for me. So, yeah, and that is still very hazy. I just think it's insane, like, how hazy beers can get. Like, stouts, it's insane how dark they can get to where you can't. You can put a flashlight to them, and they do not, you do not see light. Light does not escape it. It's a black hole. Alrighty, so, um, that is, uh, the vlog for this week. Uh, thank you for joining me. I feel like this one was kind of a bit of a long one, so I apologize. Uh, Part of the reason that I split up the reviews from my vlogs was a to add more content to my channel because honestly I'm really piss poor at content. I don't have enough time to put out as many videos as I would love to, but I do try to do as much as I can. And even then, I wanted to shorten the vlog because it was getting ridiculous. I I got to like an hour and ten minutes, and I was trying to starting to like cut parts just to like make it fit to where you weren't sitting around longer for more than an hour because I. Hey, uh, I know Jared, the vaping goat says, uh, time is money and it is, I mean, you could be doing something else instead of watching my video, but I do appreciate you for coming by and watching. Uh, so yeah, so, um, there are some things in the works at the moment. I'm not sure where I'm at on certain things, but do come check out clownvapes.com. I will be putting the juice back up on the site pretty soon. The vape mats will be going live here soon. If I haven't done it yet, because this is coming out Wednesday and today is Monday. So hopefully I'll get that set up and I'll have them up for you guys. Uh, it's a very short run and it's mostly because I did pay out of pocket and I don't have enough money for buying a ton of them. But I know I was asked quite a bit about the uh, vape mats. So if you guys are interested and if I still have any left, let me know and we'll, we'll work something out. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, what else? Uh, I got clothes. I will be posting juice back up. So there's that. Check us out on uh, Wolf by Radio Show. I don't even know if we're considered a podcast or radio show anymore. But go check us out on Vape Radio. We are on Saturdays at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. And from there, try to work out your own time zone. I'm sorry. I, well, here, let me just do the math for you. 8 8 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Central, 6 Mountain, and 5 Pacific. And then on Sundays, we're on at 10 Eastern, 9 Central, 8 uh, Mountain, and 7 Pacific. So you have two chances to listen to the show. And if you don't happen to catch either one of those, we do have the SoundCloud page. And... I do have a link down below for you guys on that. If you guys want to check out any of our old episodes, uh, you could see the beginnings of the whole thing and how it evolved and all that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, go check us out, please. Uh, I, I know Frank would appreciate it. The dude, he he works hard on this for both of us. He does. All I do is really show up and talk. He does all the hard work. He does all the heavy lifting. And if you guys have been around long enough following me, you guys know I used to do a podcast called Vape Beer and Tacos. I used to do everything in that. Uh, I had uh, my co-host. He would just show up with tacos, and we would eat tacos and talk beer. And that's kind of how that show went. And I got stuck editing for the next three days because he was a uh, pain to edit. Just, yeah. I'm so I try to be the easiest edit for Frank for that same reason. I, I actually am an audio major, and so is Frank and... We both have degrees in audio, so we both kind of get all weird in particular about how things are done. And like even earlier, I was having issues with my mic and all that, so I was getting pissy. So I'm glad this vlog turned out way better than I could hope for. And hopefully the audio is good and all that kind of thing. So yeah. And uh, so with that being said, uh, Vaping with the Omis will be back next week. Next Monday, we will all be on there. And 
yeah, we will, we will, I don't even know what we're going to do. We, uh, we've kind of really taken this vacation thing really seriously. I'm okay with it though. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And as always advocacy, you don't have to do everything, but you at least have to do something. And if you believe in vaping hard enough, do something for yourself to keep vaping alive. But me personally, I'm going to go into editing. I think my wife said she's getting off of work at here in a couple of minutes. So we're going to do some family time and stuff. And yeah, I'm going to keep vaping this guy. Keep drinking this guy. Probably not together because what I have in here will not work with that. But we'll see. All right. So thank you for joining me. Uh, as always, vape on, mix on. <laughs> I could have made a better face. You know, how about to try that again? Yeah, I'm wasting time right now. Wasting time. All right, it's still recording. I don't fucking give a shit.